Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next NHL team check-in on the Seattle Kraken. As we in our next round of hockey videos of NHL team check-ins, check out the ones I've already done in the NHL team check-in video uh, playlist that'll be linked at the bottom of this video at the end. And please continue to like and subscribe at the top at the widget at the end of the video or down below at the easy-to-use sub button right now. Easy to click, just a one-click, and then you're subbed. But... Let's get right into it as the Seattle Kraken are suffering uh, the typical fate of a rebuilding team. The Hockey Guy did a fantastic video uh, that recapped the, the life of rebuilding teams uh, that started with, I believe it was the San Jose Sharks uh, onward. But either way, it started and it was great. And um, it showed the typical life that was not the Vegas Golden Knights, who are the outlier. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are suffering uh, the uh, typical fate of a rebuilding team. They're one of the lower... Uh, bottom feeder teams in the league at 15, 27, and 4, um, and they're a minus 38, uh, but the thing with the Seattle Kraken is they have had players that have played well to keep their team losing, they lose games, but they are usually losing them by 2, 3 goals, 1 goal, not like the 7-2 to two blowouts that you've seen other rebuilding teams of the past um, lose to, because that's really what the crack and or most expansion teams are rebuilding team when they first come in because they're building their team up in the first place. Uh, so they have players, though, which is the biggest key for this team to trade and get future assets for because they actually have many of them. Uh, Yanni Gord is a very uh, good player for someone to be able to grab who has 23 points in 38 games this year. Appleton, I don't think they're going to trade because he's kind of on the uptick trajectory. That seems like someone you might want to keep around. Uh, Kelly Yonkroke, um is a very good Swiss Army Knife type player for somebody, or since he's cheap, uh, they might want to re-sign him, keep him around. Who knows? Uh, Jordan Eberle is a UFA in 2024, I think he's going to be a guy as a leader perspective that does stick around, but then you got Jared McCann, who's an RFA after this year, and he's going off with 30 goal or thirty points, excuse me, not 30 goals, uh, 19 goals in 41 games, uh, he's going ballistic this year, uh, being the top line center for them most of the time, playing really well, and then Wenberg, maybe not on the defensive end of the puck all the time, but he he's actually having a solid uh, .46 points per game uh, season himself, so you have Trey Bate there, and basically what I'm getting at, and depending what you want to do with Giordano, he might be in the leadership perspective to just keep around until he retires. But if you want to get rid of him, he, of course, has trade value, even at six seven five because he's a UFA for this year, and they're only paying half of that at the point we are at at the season right now. So it's only going to be what the the rest of his salary. I'm not the best at math, so I don't, the, the full half of that I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so, but it, it'll be... um. The rest of his salary for the cut that in half, and that's what they'll be paying him, not the full thing. So this team was built up well by Ron Francis. One of the big reasons, though, they're not getting maybe playing more to the the way the the actual skilled players are playing in this team. It's not showcasing that with the record, is because their goaltending has been suspect this year, surprisingly, because uh, Philly Grubauer is a very solid goaltender through most of his career. This season, not so much. Uh, Chris Dreger, since bursting onto the scene with Florida, has looked good in the league. This season, not so much. Uh, so, that plays a big part. But, again, the Seattle Kraken are just like most expansion teams usually play out where the Vegas Golden Knights are an outlier. They do have a bunch of people to um, dangle out there in the trade market. And I think they're going to take advantage of that, and Ron Francis is going to take advantage of that. And I wouldn't be surprised if this team, even with Ron Francis as the general manager with the, with the ability to have the trade, is a much more competitive team next season, but definitely in their third season. I see them even being potentially a playoff team with the way Ron Francis can wheel and deal, and he has a lot of guys to play with. They just haven't got good goaltending. They haven't had the best defense. They could probably be over 20 wins if they did have that. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below or up above on these use widgets to get us to 200 by the end of February as our goal for the end of February. Enjoy the rest of the season, Kraken fans. You've definitely been showing up and showing out, even in a down year in an expansion for the expansion team in their first season. But it's their first season. They're going to build off of it. And Ron Francis, like I said, I think is going to get them a bunch of assets. Peace out, everyone.